Howdy y'all and welcome to Political Us. I found it. The proof is real. Voter fraud. Liberals are creating fake ballots in Philadelphia and disgustingly stealing this election from Donald Trump. Take a look. Refusing to allow representatives and poll what I'm going to send it the bill. This lady is marking the ballots. I filmed her a half hour ago doing six, and she's still working at it. Uh, let's stamp it, received, and let's fill in our six blanks, all at the top of the tickets on each one. One, two, three. Four, five, six. And there's a security guard right there who's watching her. The cops are on in on it. Disgusting. See? Disgusting. Disgusting. Patriots. Defend our democracy. Share this video. Yes, press that share video. Question reality. Yes, this is sickening. Comment below. Yes, yes, fuel the outrage. Let the media know we won't be silenced. <laughs> <laughs>
she fills in the ballot at the same pace. He turns over his page, she finishes hers. Clearly they're working in tandem. Why? Well, hold on, let's channel our inner Horatio Cain. We gotta move quick, tide is rising, and we have a sinking crime scene. And investigate more into what we actually see. Let's address the officer. First, they're identified as both a security guard and a police officer involved in the scandal. And there's a security guard right there who's watching her. The cops are on in on it. I couldn't confirm whether they were security guard or a police officer, but I can confirm that I'm probably now on some watch list for searching Philadelphia police uniform so many times during this controversial time for the city. Regardless, there's clearly someone there whose job it is to enforce laws and policies. He looks right at both of them and walks away. To him, they're not doing anything they're not supposed to be doing. With Philadelphia police recently arresting armed men near the Pennsylvania Convention Center and dealing with bomb threats, the idea they wouldn't be looking for suspicious activity, well, it's laughable. Those officers and security guards know tensions are high, and as any Blue Lives Matter person will tell you, they just want to go home to their families. I seriously doubt they're looking for anything that is suspicious and overlooking. How are we seeing this video? Did some patriot crawl through air ducts, subverting authorities, unlocking some giant government cover-up? Nah. Dude just whipped out his phone and recorded a screen with a super convenient camera angle, which means there's clearly cameras in the room and an easily accessible website, something that everyone working there would be fully aware of. Another thing, anyone else notice how well lit this room is? Lighting is the number one problem for video recording, and these nefarious criminals picked a well-lit area directly under the easily accessible cameras to commit their voting fraud? Come on. I don't think so. And in this room, in the last few seconds, we pan back just far enough to see someone else in the room. Oh wait, we can easily go check to see this room, and lo and behold, here's the exact same people committing their fraud and the rest of the, oh my God, there's a whole room full of fraud happening here. Fraud everywhere. Look at all this dark web, shadowy figures, slithering about, ripping apart our democracy, one counterfeit vote at a time. In reality, let's break down this room and what appears to be everyone actually just doing a job they're supposed to be doing. Here's our two main subjects. This isn't the same time frame because there's no officer in this video, but they're clearly completing the exact same task from before. There appears to be about five different groups set up the exact same way, one reading and one filling out a ballot. These two appear to be printing off and or counting votes, and in a voting tabulation center, counting votes is shockingly a completely normal activity. These three right here appear to be verifying envelopes, envelopes that are checked for postmark dates, illegal identification markers, and anything else that would void the ballot. And the two in the back are observing the entire room. And again, I'm not in the room, but they appear to be supervisors for the actions in the room. You know, looking important, but not actually doing anything. Supervisor stuff. If you ask me, this looks like a well-organized, bipartisan, process with checks and balances along the way. So what is actually going on in this room? Pennsylvania's election code states that if any ballots or district total cards are damaged or defective so that they cannot properly be counted by the central automatic tabulation equipment, a true duplicate copy shall be made and substituted for any such damaged ballot or card. All ballots of this sort are labeled as duplicate and contain a serial number that is documented on the damaged or defective ballot. A representative from each party sits down and duplicates the ballot, ensuring its accuracy. The fact this video shows them filling out all Democratic candidates isn't because they're committing fraud. It's because some American in Philadelphia filled out a ballot that ended up damaged. The bipartisan Americans in the room are just ensuring that their vote gets counted. Some ballots can be damaged as they are extracted and will not scan successfully. And if the machine not scanning it sounds far-fetched, I can tell you at my voting location in a red state, 
The machine I used rejected the first attempt of every single one of us that tried to use it. I watched it after mine failed. It all failed the first time and scanned perfectly fine the second time. The manufacturer for these machines in Philadelphia recommends transcribing as the only solution for accurately getting the vote. There is nothing happening here that is illegal or open for fraud. Guys, President Trump has spent months, years even, chipping away at the foundations of our democracy. This whole election is being rigged. It's rigged like you've never seen before. The whole thing is one big fix. Our system is rigged. You know it, they know it, I know it, and pretty much the whole world knows it. A democracy that is very fragile, terrifyingly, without that fundamental trust that America will do the right thing, there's not much holding it together. If you need further proof, check out this TED Talk from Van Jones, where he discusses what happens if the loser in an election doesn't concede. I get it. Voting laws and processes are hard to understand in one state, let alone all 50. But if you see something like this, be the real intelligent person. Look for what you can see first, even if it's not what you're told to look at. Then start asking questions about the process itself. There are processes, fail safes, and checks and balances all throughout our electoral process. The stories are fun, but the reality is what truly makes America great. Making politics more about us also requires us to learn more about our own politics. Learn, don't assume. Thanks for watching.